Good morning everybody and welcome to our Wednesday scavenger hunt. Who is excited to see what challenge we've got today to see if we are going to be finding things around our house again? Yeah, oh, I am so, so excited. Well, I hope that you've had a lovely week so far and did you join in on our last scavenger hunt when we had to find things all around our house in all different shapes and sizes and colours. Did you have a really good time? Because I know that I did. We had lots and lots of fun. So, I can see Mary's case. Shall we try and open it and see what challenge she has put in there for us for today? Let's have a look. Uh-oh. Just as I thought, her case is locked so in our big loud voices after three we need to shout mary mary where have you been are we all ready after three one two three mary mary where have you been let's see if it's wet uh -oh. it's still locked it's still really, really tightly locked. So we need to shout a little bit louder. And after three, we also need to clap our hands so we can make loads and loads and loads of noise to make the case open. Are we ready? After three, one, two, three. Mary, Mary, where have you been? Let's see if it's worked. We have one open. We've got two open and no, Mary, but we do have another letter. So this must be what we need to do today, what we need to go and find. Are we ready? Lorna, I have gone on an adventure for our challenge for today. Here is what the boys and girls need to do if they want to play. Today is all about finding things that are hid around your house. From items as big as a grown-up to a teeny tiny mouse. So today, again, we've got to find things all around our house by the sound of it, of all different sizes. Grown-ups, you will need to write these down and we need to put our thinking caps on. Thinking caps on. So this is what we need to find today. We need to find three things that make a noise. Mm, I wonder what that could be. Something you can see yourself in. Something made of wood. Oh, that'd be quite tricky, won't it? A book with an animal in it. Something you would use at the beach. Oh, I wonder what that could be. There's lots of things we could use at the beach, isn't there? Something with numbers on it. Your favourite book. And something very small. So that's a lot of things that we've got to try and find today, isn't it? So, I think Mary is going around the house at the moment, or wherever she may be trying to find all of these things and we need to go and find them as well so let's just go over them again you need to find three things that make a noise something you can see yourself in something made of wood a book with an animal in it something you would use at the beach something with numbers on it your favorite book and something very small Wow, that is a big list, isn't it? Well, I'm going to go and see what I can find. I'm going to see what Mary can find. And we'll come back here soon. So, go and have a look around the house and bring everything back. Okay? See you soon. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. So, did you manage to go and find all of those things that Mary had asked us to get? Did you? It took us ages to try and find everything because they were in different rooms and they were different sizes. Oh, it took us ages. But look, Mary's case is open. So shall we have a look and see 
what she chose. Let's see if Mary's back. Hang on a second. Hello, Mary. Here we got Mary is back. As she said, we had lots of fun trying to find everything. And did you? Did you have to go in every room in your house to try and find things? Because we did. And she would love to show you everything that we found. So we're going to have a look. And you can see if you got the same things as us. Or oh, did you get something different? Let's have a look. So the first thing on our list was three things that make a noise. Let's see what three things we have. We have a shaky toy. A very shaky toy. That makes some noise. We have another shaky castanet instrument. That makes the shaky shaky noise too. Oh, it's got a little line on the front. And we have a... Oh, that makes a noise. A trumpet sound. That makes a noise as well. So that's our three things that make a noise. Now, something you can see yourself in. This was a little bit tricky, but... We've got a mirror, so I can see myself in a mirror. Did you get a mirror as well? I couldn't think of anything else that we could use for that one, but we've got our mirror that we can see ourselves in. Now, something made of wood. We found this, so this was in our house, in our kitchen, and this makes a noise because it's made of wood, isn't it? So that's all something made of wood. A book with an animal in it. Now, we found this little book, which has lots of animals inside. So we've got a hippopotamus, a zebra, and what else? A whale, and there's lots and lots of animals, lots of wild animals in this book so that was our item with the animal inside so here we go something you would use at the beach oh i would love to be on a beach right now let's see what we've got we have a big beach towel look at this with lots and lots of watermelons on it so this would be lovely at the beach and we could lie on this and go in the sea and then lie back on that when we come out and dry ourselves. So that was our something at the beach. Something with numbers on it. Now you could have lots and lots of different things for something with numbers on, but we have a ruler. So a ruler's got lots of different numbers on it, hasn't it? So that was our something with numbers on it. And we have your favourite book. Now yours is going to be different to what ours is because you might have a completely different favourite book. But we have Matilda. We love Matilda. So this is our favourite book. That was our favourite book that we chose. And then lastly, something very small. Now let me see what we have for our something small. Now we've got something small but also something very, very yummy. A little tiny chocolate egg. So that was our something small. So did you manage to get everything that was on the list? And did you have different things to what we did? Because there was lots of different things that you could have chosen. And I definitely think for the favourite book, I don't think that you would have had the same one as us. But you might have. I don't know. So I'm going to get Mary so she can say... Bye-bye to everybody. Here we go, Mary. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. So we hope that you had lots of fun today and that you went into all of your rooms and you managed to get everything. Don't forget to put everything back as well so that the grown-ups don't shout at you. And we will see you next week for another scavenger hunt. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.